White House advisor Michael Kratzios told reporters the program will open the skies for delivery of life-saving medicines and commercial packages, inspections of critical infrastructure, support for emergency management operations. Kratzios said the program would allow companies and governments to operate drones in ways that are currently restricted by the FAA, including beyond visual line-of-sight flights, nighttime operations, and flights over people. Alphabet Inc. and Inc. are among a growing number of companies hoping to make package delivery by drones a reality. In 2016, the Obama administration opened the skies to low-level small drones for education, research, and routine commercial use, but left in place significant restrictions. The FAA estimates by 2021 the fleet of small hobbyist drones will more than triple and commercial drones will grow tenfold to about 442,000. In June, Trump told drone executives the administration wants to create new companies and lots of jobs. We are going to give you the competitive advantage that you need. But security concerns remain. In September, a civilian drone struck and damaged a U.S. Army Black Hawk helicopter near Staten Island, New York. This month, a drone hit an airplane landing at a Quebec City airport, the first time an unmanned flying object collided with commercial aircraft in Canada. The FAA has banned drone flights over 133 U.S. military facilities and over 10 U.S. landmarks, including the Statue of Liberty in New York and Mount Rushmore National Memorial in South Dakota, at the request of national security and law enforcement agencies. The Commercial Drone Alliance said it was optimistic that the program will become a model for overcoming some of the hurdles keeping the full potential of commercial drones from being realized. Senator John Thune, a Republican, said the new policy provides sensible direction that promotes drone safety, innovation, and local input.